And don't worry, it doesn't take very long. Okay, right, right policy update. I've been doing this for a very long time. It's basically a quick run through of uh, the uh, changes in policy at RIPE which might uh, be of interest to you or at least might impinge upon your operations. So, let's make a start. Okay, just background information. Um, the, the, the RIPE policy is, is run by the RIPE, development, RIPE policy development process known as the PDP. This has been slightly updated recently, but not very much, hardly worth worrying about. Um, there's also a RIPE code of conduct, which is about not shouting at people on mailing lists. And RIPE working groups are what actually come up with the, uh, the, the, the policies. So uh, off we go. And there, there, are some, uh, there are some links there if you're really interested in following them up. Uh, RIPE policy is mostly made on mailing lists. So the best way to find out what's happening is to subscribe to the mailing list. Again, there's a link there. Uh, you can check on old discussions on the archives and you can share your comments and ideas if that sort of thing turns you on. There are only two current policy proposals. They are both IPv4 based, related, as are most policy proposals. Uh, IPv6 is singularly free of this sort of thing. Um, and these are both in the discussion phase, which means people are talking about them. Um, so let's have a quick look at the two policies that we have. Number one, 202301. Policies are named according to the year and the number of the policy in the year. So we have two this year so far. 2023-01 is entitled Reducing IXP IPv4 Assignment Default Size to a Slash 26. You are probably all aware that once upon a time when there was lots of IPv4, if you were an IXP, you could go and ask for IPv4 address space to run your IXP on. And this used to be, you used to be allocated a slash 24, which could be upgraded to a slash 23 or even slash 22, depending how big you were. You may have noticed that IPv4 isn't as common as it used to be. And this is a proposal to reduce the default size to a slash 26. The reason being is that most IXPs never get near, big enough to actually use a slash 24. Uh, and in actual fact, a good 70% of them will fit into a slash 26 anyway. So it seems to make sense to actually reduce the default assignment size to a slash 26. And discussion is ongoing on this. Uh, 202302, minimum size for IPv4 temporary assignments. Unless you run conferences or, or or uh, IP experiments, you probably don't know about IPv4 temporary assignments, but you can actually request a block of address space for use temporarily, like if you're running a conference or like if you're running some connectivity um, tests. Okay, and there's a discussion to actually reduce this minimum size to a slash 24. Um, it was a bit bigger than that. It's now gonna probably come down to a slash 24. Um, again, probably won't affect anybody here. Uh, but have a look at it if you're interested. Okay, other policy topics. Well, IPv6 is sort of having um, a discussion on policy. There's no, uh, no actual policy proposals that are in, in, the, uh, in, um, in the offing at the moment. But on the other hand, they think there will be and they're actually holding discussions online, not just, um, not just on mailing lists and not just at right meetings. Um, so have a look at, the, um, at that uh, URL if you're interested, and they will actually be holding quite well, more sessions, more online sessions to discuss IPv6 policies. Um, the minutes and the recording, uh, they'll be minuted and recorded. And the minutes of the first one, which took place in February, uh, will be available soon. Again, follow up the URL. 
Ripe database implementations. This isn't strictly speaking policy, but it probably affects you all, since you all of you probably register uh, IP addresses in the Ripe database. There are two that are currently in the process of being completed. Uh, the first one is NWI 10, which is definition of country. <sighs> right, organizations at the moment don't have country attributes. And this is a proposal, well, not a proposal, it's actually being done. Uh, there will be a country attribute added to an organization. And this country, which in the case of a, a resource, would actually be um, the country in which the resource is located is actually slightly different for uh, countries, uh, for um, organizational objects, where it's where the organization is legally um, located. Okay, so just a slight difference there. So if your organization is legally located uh, somewhere other than your network, then that's the country um, code that you should put in. NWI 19, changes to AS set object naming rules. This, again, may affect you. If you, rec if you uh, register AS set objects within the right database, uh, you're probably aware that there are two types of AS sets. You can either uh, register a simple AS set, which is just something like AS Amazon, uh, just to pluck one out of the air, or you can actually put in a hierarchical one where the name, whether the number of the AS uh, number precedes the AS set name separated by a colon. Okay. This means that you can actually apply protection rules to it, uh, which you can't apply to a simple AS set. Now, this is a proposal and it will take place that simple AS sets cannot be registered. In fact, this will happen very shortly. So you will only be able to register hierarchical AS sets. Uh, again, shouldn't affect you. Existing AS, simple AS sets won't be removed, they were grandfathered, but you just won't be able to register new ones. Okay? You may have processes and procedures that will be affected by this. And that's it. Nothing more. If you want to talk to the policy development officer, uh, Angela at the RIPE NCC, there's an invisible um, email address there, pdo at ripe.net. Any questions? One over there. All right, somebody's coming. Um, I thought the AS set thing had already been implemented. I just literally just tried to create an AS set right now that wasn't hierarchical when it said the ripe equivalent of get stuffed. Uh, right, okay. So yes, that's been implemented in that okay. case. Fine, I was just good. Checking if there was something else I knew. Thank you for that uh, information. Yes, you can no longer uh, create simple AS sets um, as of, I'm not sure when, but certainly now. <laughs> okay, any other questions? No, no, no. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Nigel.